Oh, Jesus. Select an archetype. Thinker. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people. Knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic personality but unstable, might begin to lose his mind. Physical, extremely physical, interacts the world through his body, gets things done but dumb as a rock. Or create your own. Well, look at that. <clears throat> I get Encyclopedia, which it doesn't tell me what it is. Inland Empire. And eye coordination. Can I back out of this if I hit continue? Or once I hit continue, am I locked in? You can back out. Oh, Jesus. Motorix, how agile you are, how masculine you are. Sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent. God, could you imagine doing like that? So this is essentially the, um... Oh, this guy's more mobile. Do you have to have a five to get a bonus? No. Because he gets a bonus from a four. That's emotionally intelligent, psychic. Psyche. I go like that. Good intelligence, weak psyche, or weak physique, but I'm, I'm decent at motor skills and psyche. And I'm guessing there's other things in the game that give you modifiers to this. That would make sense. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm mostly well-rounded, but I'm leaning towards intelligence. What the fuck? Set skill. So I do I get just one? Total four. Or do I get like one per category? Because I have like... Wield raw intellectual power, deduce the world. Call upon your knowledge, produce fascinating trivia. Okay, so I only get one. Like, in of all of these choices, I can only choose one. Correct? <clears throat> Encyclopedic knowledge. Practice the art of persuasion. Enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. Play the actor. Lie and detect lies. Capitalization. Understand creativity. See art in the world. Visual calculus. Reconstruct crime scenes. 
Make laws of physics work for the law. What? <laughs> keep yourself together. Keep morale up. Volition. I'm Commander Shepard, and Awesome Matt G is my favorite streamer on Twitch. Hey, Baka, thanks for the resub. 78 months. Good lord. Punch and gut feelings. Empathy is understanding others, right? Um, intimidate the public. Connect to Station 41. Understand cop culture. Our men and women play the puppet master. Threaten. Shivers. Raise hairs on your neck. Electrochemistry, go to the party planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Physical instrument, flex powerful muscles. Drug off pain. Take the blows. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Logic urges you to analyze the living daylights out of the case. It enables you to piece evidence together, detect inconsistencies in statements, and impress everyone with your astonishing conclusions. It's the bread and butter of many a detective. At high levels, Logic will be able to solve even the most complicated puzzles. You'll be very proud and less susceptible to intellectual flattery. For those blinded by their own brilliance, often miss important clues. With low levels of logic, you're going to have a hard time solving even the simplest puzzle. Even if you find the pieces, good luck putting them together. Wow. So, it looks like all of these have an upside and a downside. So like logic, high levels logic will be able to solve even the most complicated puzzles, but I will be susceptible to intellectual flattery, and I can be blinded by my own brilliance and miss important clues. It makes you a know-it-all, turning your mind into a database of facts. Uh, it enables you to draw on these facts innately, offering a wealth of background knowledge to all things related and unrelated to your case. Who knows what the history of cigarette brands will provide the breakthrough you need to arrest a murderer, or when the knowledge of pre-revolutionary guns might save a life. At high levels, encyclopedia share, an encyclopedia shares this wealth of knowledge to an almost overwhelming degree. While it may give you crucial breakthroughs, it will often lust clutter your mind with useless tidbits. With low levels of encyclopedia, though, you'll be forced to walk with only the clues in front of you. Without any background knowledge, copying is going to be a tough one. Yeah, every pro has a con. It seems, seems like it, but it seems like it really only gets out of hand when it gets really, really high. Rhetoric urges you to debate and make intellectual discourse and nitpick. It enables you to break down arguments you, uh, and hear what people are really saying. You'll spot fallacies as soon as they are used. And uh, what exactly did the waiter leave out of their testimony? What was the dancer trying to divert you from? Was the double entendre intended or did you just get an accidental lead? High levels, it will make you an impressive political beast. One whose beliefs are impenetrable, which is to say, one who will, whose mind will not change. One who will calcify. Okay. Drama may render you an insufferable thespian, one prone to hysterics and bouts, bouts of paranoia. For to know the world is a stage is to know the truth is a vanity. However, with low drama, you cannot lie or discern when others lie. And a ca cop who cannot do either is a cop who's soon going to be lying six feet under.
Uh, I'm leaning towards logic or encyclopedia. I think I'll go with logic. So intellectual base four, signature skill logic plus one, so total five. So my intellect is actually going to be five. Or is that my logic is five? Oh, okay, 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 I got it, I got it. So each four means all of these are level four, and I just chose that logic is slightly higher than it. I could have gone to physique and gone with like pain threshold. Pain threshold would be a three and everything else would be a two. Okay. All right, let's go with that. I'm not going to think a whole lot about it. Like I'm going to think, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit here and like. The Furies are at home in the mirror and something, something I missed. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. Look at the ancient reptilian brain. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Yeah, give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. I like nothing. I know you do, baby. I know. But you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion. Coming right up, sir. Smooth passy. I want to get off now. I like the pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Do you really? I do. Let's go. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, okay, tell me what's waiting for me. So this is kind of like a... This is kind of like a roll that I made to see if I to see if my inland empire skill could give me a suggestion. Tell me what's waiting for me. There's this giant ball there. An evil apes. An evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. And how big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. And this duking it out, I keep hearing about, what's that? Fine for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. 
or you lose. That's sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. What do you mean drowned? You lost. The sound outside, you recognize it. It's a Caprice Canela motor carriage. Open my eyes. Bro, I like my tidy whities Ants. My shirt. Items gained. Jacket. So I don't have a shirt. That's just a jacket. Health 2, morale 3. What's this? Ah, tab to highlight. Okay. That's one of my shoes. Oh no, it... That left foot only, okay. I got a shirt. See, bottles in the bathtub, beer, wine, and sweet liquors. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Touch my face. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. What's, what's wrong with my face? Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Ugh. Touch my tongue. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. What about my nose? Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Yikes. Uh, yeah, let's wipe the mirror. Behold. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Face of a late stage alcoholic. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Try to stop. Okay. Oh, my God. You can't stop. 
It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? I'm vaguely sympathetic. It's like I'm sort of pulling it off, too. In a sad has-been kind of way. There might have been, ten years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. deep into your mind is there a bad like does bad stuff happen if you fail sometimes uh i have to roll oh not for white checks okay it belongs in the new the third decade of the current century enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that for a fleeting moment Free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. Okay. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Sick. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, Boite de Nuit, somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit, then he made the expression. I feel like I need to add a clicking sound when I make it. <laughs> uh, anything else? Like, who am I? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? You have some understanding of the near history of disco. The rest is darkness. Aside from the useless fact that the motor carriage outside was a Caprice Canema. How long ago was the new? Some 20 odd years. There is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression. Looking good on you or anyone. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. Why well, adopted it? Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. Guess that's it then. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Plus two to know the origin. I think I'm just gonna let that slide. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Pull well, the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. All right, grab the tie. You reach out to grab the tie, but what's this? Diffuse, radiating chest pain. 
doom comes over you. Grab your chest. This is bad. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving. For quite a long time. Still ongoing. Now is a good time to start worrying. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. Oh, so I can't get I can't get the uh can't get the tie anymore. Okay, pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. All right, turn it back off. The lights are off. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Assess the damage. What do you mean, assess the damage? How would you do that? What are you even trying to do? All right, look out the window. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. That's locked. What is this? Temporary research bonus. Minus one logic. Research time. Wait. Why would I want to lose one logic? Whatever happens to Guillaume de Million, who with his amber mane and sparkling teeth beguiled tattered remains of the nation while you suffered and suffered. Did he dematerialize into a cloud of cocaine dust? Or did he simply stand in the corner and melt into the slendering new lines? Some starlit French words 20 years ago. Spare a thought for his great ass, too. Or wait, maybe he became a police officer? So is this like, for the next four and a half hours, my logic is reduced by one? Because it's going to be working on this. Empty cassette. that I don't understand oh my lord I don't understand what I'm doing with this I don't know internalize what's that do yeah logic minus one I don't know what that's doing. The door's been locked from the inside. Well... This fan has two chain pull switches.
So I can't, I can't, I can't go out either of the doors. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Uh, I guess we'll roll for this. It's too late. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. stands broken in its frame. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. This is awkward. Is this the whole game? Just me standing around in my apartment? Being unable to leave? Journal, okay. Thought cabinet, I don't know what the hell that is. Map. I have no journal and no map. Thought cabinet, that's this. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay. Not that door, apparently. Real. Hello, officer. Calendar says it's March in the year of 51. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. 
she can't be more than 28. Officer, am I a military personnel? Uh, no. Why'd you call me officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well-rehearsed lies all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Why don't I remember being a cop? Could it be because of the drinking? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer? Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Alright, well, I'm gonna get out of here. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Before you go, I have some questions. Yes? Your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Do I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Loud disco. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about OO, the better. OO were huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Yeah, we go on all right. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. Yeah, what happened? A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Was I singing this? Show her the empty case. Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church. Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. And also... What else? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but... You sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Yeah, then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Sure I wasn't being assaulted? No. It didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. Yeah. There wasn't anything else? There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Of 
Where exactly is here? You're in a hostel, sir. Oh, where in the world? We are in Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Uh, how about you tell me something else? Yeah. What is it that they have against police? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. And is it 51 now? It's 51. What century? The current century. And the number is... Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. Very unhelpful. And how many have there been? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. He grins. What's so funny? You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. Alright, you can go. Glad to have been of assistance. What's this? Everybody in room two? Where the heck am I? Oh, it's moving. <laughs> His late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposely ignoring you. Look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of his wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is the great skua. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. That's the great skua, right? Look, your buddy is over there. Man in the bomber jacket is tapping his foot. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Something tells me you don't like me. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. He's lying. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? You're being sarcastic. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things? You're right, you didn't, and it's only taken you three days not to. What have I been doing all that time? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. I'm gonna leave him alone.
You should totally sing karaoke here. The first <laughs> chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Of course. At this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard. Through a PA system. By other people. What should I sing? You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Now we get a real gauge of my soul from that one. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic, small church song. Who's laughing now? No one. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. Okay. a water cooler a large bubble is rising to its surface Jesus that was loud That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? An hour? Sweet Lord, a whole hour. And you haven't thought about rum and lemonade in all that time. <laughs> You've truly extinguished all trace of yourself. Uh, actually, should I be thinking about this? Looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade to yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. Don't lick it. What happened, man? You used to be cool. Go get your boring normal person drink then. Get your drink on and your act together. Find booze and drink it. Rip. Royal Pinball Machine is unplugged. Mess Hall reserved for union members. Hello, sweetie. Aw. A cryptozoologist. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Is that, was that an actual quest to get drink? Put it in the held slot in your inventory and the magic will happen on its own. The man plucks at the seabird, frowning. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. You can still pour me a drink, right? I could, if I were a bartender, but I'm not. I'm the cafeteria manager, so I won't. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Where did Sylvie go? She just, you know... His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. 
Just what? So now you're a cop. Oh, forget it. Huh. Weird. Door is bolted. Kitchen is reserved for personnel until 1300. Mud caked boots and rolled down overalls. Uh, the back of his shirt re reads Wild Pines. Oh, he's a dock worker, and dock workers don't like cops. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Take the pills. The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. You've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. Oh, so it's, you just click this to heal. Okay. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Hmm. Shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. I don't really know my name. Okay, then. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is... He has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. You mean him? Nod towards the manager? Yeah, I just talked to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Uh, what interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest, and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I have, actually. Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Okay. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Uh, the, the, uh, dead body? Mm-hmm. No. So, the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. 